to my YouTube channel. So this is the sassy night look that I was going for with some Merlot lipstick, which is, seems to be very in, and easy hair from the braids that we wore all day today. So go ahead and stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe. So now we're just gonna pop the braids out and we're just gonna comb them out with our fingers. One of the reasons why I decided to do a zigzag part is because when you take the braids out, you can flip your hair either side, either direction, and there's not gonna be a distinct part where if you just did a straight middle part, it would show that you had a middle part in your braids. Next, I'm gonna be using Not Your Mother's Lock Luster Oil. I love this stuff because what this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of loosen the braids and be able to style your hair how you want it to be. Now we're just taking our rat tail comb and I usually part my hair right over there and we're just smoothing it down and creating a part right now. Now I'm gonna be fluffing up the hair and kind of piecing it where I want everything to lay and that is our completed look. Now I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm just dampening it a little bit so that the foundation can go on evenly. And I'm using my e.l.f. foundation in the color sand and I'm just applying that evenly all over the skin. Now I am taking a concealer made by L'Oreal. I love this. This is one of the lightest shades you could possibly get because again I like bright under eyes. And we are drawing a triangle and really highlighting the upper side of our cheekbones. And make sure to fill in this triangle completely because if you don't, you'll actually be able to see the triangle and it won't be able to blend in as well. And I'm also going to put a little bit on my nose for the contouring of the nose later. Now I have my ultimate face translucent powder and I'm just using a powder brush and we are going to pat that on right where we put the concealer on and we're just going to let it bake on the skin and let that powder soak up all the liquid that way it has more of a matte finish and so you don't look shiny or oily. Now I'm just taking a angled powder brush and I'm using the darkest shade to contour my face with. Starting with my cheekbones going up and then wiping down going up and then wiping down and just blending it up to the top of my forehead giving my face shape more narrow effect now I'm just contouring my lower jaw line just to make it more defined and now I'm using my little dark mascara as an eyebrow tint and or like an eyebrow gel. So now what I'm using is my NYX angled brush and my NYX tame and frame in the color brunette. And what I am doing is I am taking my angled brush and outlining my eyebrows to give it more defined shape. So I'm starting at the bottom and I'm just following it. So going through where the angle is and then bringing it down to make it a little bit more narrow. Then I'm taking it going a little bit over the angle on top and bringing it down to be more of a point at the end. Now I'm just fluffing up the little hairs in the opposite direction to give it more of a bold brow look. Now I'm just using a regular old eyeshadow brush and this whole look is going to be from the palette of Ultimate Face. And I'm taking the lighter pink and I'm putting that right underneath my brow bone and then bringing it to the corner of the inner corner of the eye. Now using that same brush I'm taking that white and I'm just going to put it right under to highlight my brow bone. Using my flat brush, I'm now taking the purple shade and I'm going to pat that all over my lid to make the purple very predominant.
Now taking a blending eyeshadow brush, I'm using the dark brown and I'm just going to go on my crease to really give my eyes some depth. Now I'm taking the black and I'm putting it in the very outer corner of the eye just to give it a little bit more pizzazz and open my eyes up a little bit more. Now I'm going back over with that lighter pink just to blend it up so that there's no harsh lines and it's a smooth transition from light to dark. Now I'm just taking my regular powder brush and I'm just wiping the excess away as well as blending in all the translucent powder and the rest of my contouring that I did earlier. I like to do this step last after the eyeshadow so that there's no wipe away. Now I'm going over with the meat tan color and I'm just recontouring my face. Now I'm taking, yes, a lip gloss brush because they're so small it's easy to do the under lie lid. And I'm doing the very dark navy blue by Bobbi Brown. And I'm going to put that right underneath my eye, right by my waterline. Now we're doing my favorite, the eyeliner part with the felt tip. And I'm just retracing the eyeliner that I had before and giving it more of a wider winged look. Now we're doing our falsy lashes, my favorite part. I prefer to do individuals because they look be definitely look better in person. Now if you want it to look better on camera, I would definitely suggest doing the strip lashes. Now this is a little difficult part. You're gonna take the eyelash and you're gonna dip it in the glue bottle and you're gonna hold it like a pencil and just set it on where you would like. I usually do two medium ones and then one small one or if I really want to get creative I'll usually will do a large one two mediums and then one small one and this one I just did two mediums and one small one because I wanted them to be flared but I didn't want them to be crazy Now I'm just doing a quick coat of a mascara on top of the false eyelashes and my eyelashes to bind them together. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. Red Wine Matte Lipstick Color and I'm actually going to be using this as a lip liner. I like to use this as a lip liner because I feel like it actually stays a lot longer than most lip liners do. So now with the bottom lip, what I'm actually doing is I'm overlining my bottom lip towards the bottom but then bringing in the color on the inner corners. That way you don't get a clown mouth. Now I'm taking the NYX Matte. It is my favorite and it's shade ML32 and I'm just going to put that on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these two looks. I will try to get more videos up for you guys. And go ahead and tell me what you think in the comments, what I can do to improve, any questions, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching.